Okay, first of all, when I really... That's a sign. I'm gonna fail one of the subjects. Hello, exolots, you bitches. You might notice something different this time. That's right. No yellow t-shirt. I know. I failed you all. It's in the wash right now. Uh, that's one proof that I actually do wash that shirt for the people who keep asking. Instead of the main character shirt, uh, we are going to be going with the side character shirt. I'm sorry, it's just how it has to be, y'all. I can only afford two shirts, apparently. I'm getting my final exam results in three days, and I thought I might as well do a live reaction to it. I'm, I'm gonna be complaining about each subject as I clean this out. You know, I might as well train myself to multitask. So... So first of all, uh, let's talk about English. Okay, they put me in English first language, and I'm not sure if you've noticed, but English is not my first language. I was only introduced to an English-speaking environment when I transferred to an international school, which was in 2019. Now, I think I'm actually okay at English. Um, we had like a parents-teacher conference thing, and my English teacher told my mom that I had a natural talent at English and writing. And my mom was always confused because I don't really read a lot of books. So where did I learn all these writing from? It started with Wattpad and it ended in AO3. That is genuinely where I got most of my like skills for writing from was reading fanfiction. You see, you can either choose to do narrative writing or you can do descriptive writing. Narrative one, you have to like create a world, story build, make it interesting like a story. Descriptive writing, you just have to like describe the setting in pretty words like what you smell, what you hear, what you see. A teacher only taught us how to do descriptive writing because it's easier to unmark in descriptive writing and I do good in descriptive writing. We went into the exam with our teacher telling us, remember kids, let's do descriptive writing. So naturally, I went into the exams and I did narrative writing. I don't know what overcame me, I don't know what possessed me, but I decided I was going to write about a guy who was immortal. We had to have the line, nothing ever seemed to go right in the story. So what I did, which I kind of don't know if it's a good idea or not. I made it so that this guy was immortal and... and <laughs> oh, my head hurts. Oh, this is a sign. This guy is immortal. His friend just died. Damn. Just tragedy after tragedy after tragedy and nothing ever seemed to go right. And all I remember is the last paragraph I wrote, which I will read after this because it's on my phone. I think it's okay, but it feels too dramatic. I think the examiner is gonna take one look at this and think, damn, she's really trying to be like a like the Walmart Shakespeare or something. So for f English first language, I am hoping that I will get an A or an A star. That's my prediction. And oh, that's kind of high, isn't it? Huh, maybe I should just... This is my strategy. I lower all my expectations so I don't get disappointed in the future. <laughs> And then there's English literature, which uh, is basically you read a poem and you write an essay about the poem. I'm really, I'm really good at like bullshitting my way through stuff. Like, hmm, the sejura placed in this poem could mean that this person's life has ended too short, abruptly, if you will. I'm not sure. I'm gonna hope that I get either a B or above for that. I bought this for revision. Lots of revision was done. I mmm. Then okay, next up we have history. I'm pretty I'm pretty pretty good at history. Here's the funny thing. When I transferred from my old school, we had history in my old school, but it was called Sujara because it was all of it was in Malay. I don't think I've ever passed once for the two years I was at my old high school. I just kept failing. The passing mark in my old school was 60, by the way. And so when I came here, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna take history. As long as it's in English, then I think I can do well in it. I, it's just like stories, you know? And the school, they didn't like stop me from it. They were just like, hey, are you sure? Because we took one look at your grades and it was kind of shit. But my mom was just like, emailed them like, please, 
She's just very bad at Malay. Trust, trust me. Just let her do it once and we'll see. And I've never gotten anything below an A star ever since. I'm gonna touch wood because this might be the first exam that I got something lower than an A star. Maths. 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 Here's the thing. When I moved to my new school, I was actually pretty good at maths. I would I was getting A's or A stars. One time I forgot to study because I didn't know what the test was that day. I thought it was next week. And I got an 85 out of 100. I thought I was bombing it. I thought I was doing so well. And then quarantine, lockdown came, and I kind of fell off. In my uh, mock exam, I think it was the first time I got a B. And I was like, ha <laughs> this is a good sign. And my teacher was like, it's okay. You usually get A's and A stars. I believe in you. Which is why in this exam, I'm gonna get a C. Here's the thing, in the math exam, they had a graph, okay? And I hate graphs, but they had a graph. And the thing about that graph, it was naked. It was a naked graph. There was nothing on it. It was a naked graph. And you might be like, oh, well, maybe that's the point. Maybe you don't need the graphs to have clothes on. No, you don't get it. The question, the question. Uh, clearly, the graph needed clothes on it for me to solve the question. But it was naked. It was flashing me. And you might be like, oh, Feline, this is GCSE maps. What were you expecting? A graph with clothes on, perhaps? I, I remember, I wrote I wrote on the exam paper. Like, after the last question, I wrote in really little fonts, I'm sorry. Uh, so, the one thing I am banking on is that China isn't taking the GCXE exams. China said, no, we're not gonna take the GCXE exams this year. And so hopefully, the great boundaries will... <laughs> the mainland Chinese kids, they're a different breed in terms of academics. So they're gone now. So hopefully it's gonna be lower. But a C, a C is what I'm predicting. Are you kidding me? So next, what is there? What else? What other subjects are there? DT, design technology. Now, I didn't have DT in my old school. So when I came here, I was immediately trusted with this task that, hey, your project that you're doing now is going to count as like some percentage of your marks in the final exam. And I was like, I, sir, I don't even know how to open the program, sir. I knew I wasn't going to do very well in the paper exams. So what I was really relying on was my coursework, okay? And uh, for my coursework, I knew that I couldn't do the stuff that required a lot of brain energy, like joints and like LED lights, programming, stuff like that. So what I did was I made it pretty. That's right, I gave my project pretty privilege. And like I made the PowerPoint presentation for my project really neat and nice and pretty. I made a birdhouse as my project. And I remember my teacher put me to the side and he was like, hey, uh, a lot of kids have done birdhouses. So they're gonna be really strict with the marking on your birdhouse. You really have to show something different. So I made a planet themed birdhouse and I'll put the pictures here. I got a 98 out of 100 for that project. And then for the paper ones, there was there's two paper exams. One of them is like they gave you a situation where they're like, oh shit, I have too many eggs. I need to display them so people will look at my eggs and come to my farm. That was genuinely the question. So what you had to do was that you have to design three different displays, sketch them out, evaluate each of them. But then there was another one. There's another paper one. And that required mathematics. That required the numbers, the measurements. You had to draw like an isometric view of something. I was, I'm very bad. I am extremely bad at those. I will take one look. It will be like the scale is one to two. And I will be like, what does that mean? But by the time I reached a conclusion, I forgot what the thing originally was talking about. And I have to go back again. And they only give you like a limited amount of time for that test. So I was full on panicking. So truly, I am only banking on my coursework to pull me through this. I'm hoping to get an A. But I'm going to predict that I'll get a B. Damn, can't use this anymore. Why? Business studies. That's right. I take business studies. I was forced to. The first time I took a business studies test, I got a C. Mm. The second time I took it, 
I got an A star. Something clicked. Something happened. Business studies, I feel, is a game of common sense, which I don't really have, but it's okay. I have an amount of it. This might be overambitious, but I'm predicting an A. I'm gonna have faith for this one. Actually, actually no. Actually no, I don't think I don't think I'm that smart. I am going to predict the B also. Art. I was the dumbass that chose both design technology and art. Both subjects that require a lot of coursework throughout the entire two years. I chose them. I, I did that. I did that. <laughs> People know me as that one person who does digital art. But the thing about GCSE art is I don't think the old examiners would appreciate me join anime girls to them. And I'm, let me tell you something, I am not very skilled at art, okay? I hide my flaws behind the pretty colors. But then there was the final exam and there was three themes we could choose from. I chose getting ready as my theme. And what I decided to do at the end, it's supposed to represent the exploitation of children in child beauty pageants. Yep, that's right. Toddlers and Tiana, to toddlers and to toddlers and tiaras, ah, inspired this. And the hands, you will notice, are all blank. And it's supposed to represent these adults, these lifeless adults, creating what their image of a perfect child is and drawing it on when they themselves are nothing. Which is code word for, I didn't want to draw hands. <laughs> so I made them blank and gave like some explanation behind it. Hopefully, hopefully they won't notice that. Mm. So I'm gonna predict that I'll get a B and I am hoping for a B. <laughs> what else is there? I'm forgetting something. <gasps> Sciences. Sciences. Biology is the best science. Do not fight me on this. I know I am right. Chemistry is the worst science. I don't care if biology is just, just the chemistry of the body. Doesn't matter. I don't have to learn about freaking magnesium and bromine in biology. Physics is on very thin nights. Physics is funny. Physics started off with, this is a solid. It melts, this is a liquid, evaporates, this is a gas. And then it ended with electricity, motors, how this conductivity alternating current sh shit. I take coordinated science, which means I take all three of the science together. Surprisingly, for the two of the papers, it was pretty easy. Uh, there was one tiny problem in paper four though. There was a question that was like, hey, what do you use optic fibers for? And the correct answer would have been something like for medicinal purposes. I wrote to make binoculars. It was only one mark though, so who's losing here? I have done nothing. I have done nothing. For science, I am predicting that I'll get a B. Solely because of chemistry eating my ass. Either way, remember your results don't define who you are. Future Feline, you're going to be okay. Unless you got really good grades and never shut up about that. Make that your whole personality. But if you don't, it's okay. It doesn't define who you are. You are better than what the report card says. Why am I dabbing? What is up, baby girl? I dressed up so that if I cry, at least I'm gonna be hot, okay? Here is the fit. This is the screen. Cause I don't wanna see my results immediately. I wanna like scroll down. So this is just to prevent me seeing like the overall thing. I think it's a great idea filming this. I'm so distracted with filming that I don't have time to get anxious over this. I really just have to pass to go into the university I wanna go to. Are the, are the results out? Are the results out? Wait, I can't tell. This stupid paper. Oh! Okay, my results for June 2021. Holy shit! <laughs> for literature in English, I got an A star. A 94. What? Okay. For history, I got an A star. 
92. For coordinated science, I got an A, 88. I got an A for art. <laughs> an 88, what? I got an A for maths. <laughs> no, I, I did not spend like 10 minutes complaining about maths and then I got an A. <gasps> Thank you, Gandhi. I don't think Gandhi was a mathematician. Design and technology, I got an A star. A 93. First language English, I got an A star, a 94. Business studies, I got an A star, a 90. And that's all. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll, I'll one, two, three, four, five. I got five A stars and three A's. You see that I'm shaking? I'm gonna tell my parents. I'm gonna tell my parents. Hold on. I mean, it's all. What's the A? Oh wait, no, I want to complain about chemistry more. What the shit? And let me tell you, I did, I did want to be a good student. Look at my chemistry notes, I Look, it lasted for what, a day, and then I gave up. Oh god, wow, I'm really bad at multitasking.